everyone, welcome to Sardinia, Italy. Today we're on a journey with this amazing 120 year old sailing yacht. We have never been on a journey like this before. And you're about to watch everything that has happened. Let's begin. We are in Sardinia right now, waiting on our car. I mean, we need to be there on time, yeah? For three to Portisto? Yes. 15 minutes late on the dot. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. We made it. It's a beautiful day here in Italy. Life's good, so let's get on with it. I did a trip with them actually back in October, and then the captain called me saying, oh, do you want to come for the season? Like, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. no problem. So our first day on Shenandoah, yacht is just incredible. Piece of history and the way it's been refitted, how they maintain it. It looks impeccable. Our scenery is phenomenal. I'm just really excited because it's super windy today, which means we're gonna go full speed with this thing. We've done a lot of exciting things on this channel, but something about being at sea on this yacht was unlike anything we've ever done before. I grew up sailing as a kid, and this is definitely a trip I will never forget. Waking up, swimming in the ocean, taking meetings on deck. I mean, I could get used to this life. I really, really like that they had Turkish delights waiting for us. I love Turkish delights. How is it? I don't like them. Don't make me do this for the camera, but I, I, I really don't. I really don't like it. We've been shooting a lot of yachts lately, and I think this crew was the coolest crew we've ever met. We're here. We are in Shenandoah Crew Mess. Here we have the chef. Shay is from New Zealand. And then we have Darrell, he's the guy in hand, he's from Philippines. And then we have a second stewardess, he is from Brazil, very mixed crew. And then we have a deck stewardess, uh, she's from she's Danish. I'm seeing Elvis Presley every time I show it. Rix is the chief stewardess, she's from Holland. Holland. It's a feeling of freedom, I guess. I think that's what I like most about sailing. <laughs> and I'm Lucas, I'm the ship's mate from Argentina. We wanna drop Brian in the water. Yeah. Wait! <laughs> 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 we just finished Russell's interview. We're having some food right now. And probably in an hour we'll be going to sailing. Do you do any sports? Play. I do basketball. <laughs> Play basketball, okay. Yeah, so we've got good balance. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Because you need balance. I'm excited, dude. It's windy, it's we're in Italy, and it's like it's fun. So, to get this boat ready for sailing, we start from the aft and work our way forward. Everything that can move can fly overboard. Do you know where the bags are for the chairs, Brian? So, we got to get stow everything, lash everything down, and make everything ready for sea. And once we've uh, picked up the anchor, we tend to hoist the main, fore, stay sail, inner jib, outer jib, and then the top sails. So, it's quite a process. It takes us about 45 minutes to get everything up and running. Me and Mikey are getting on the tender and we're gonna go to that island right there because first off, look around us. We're gonna fly a $30,000 drone basically and we have no land around us. Problem number one. We don't get to sail, Dale, you get to sail. I'm the one that loves sailing. I don't even get to sail this thing in this beautiful boat. Chaos on deck. When we get close to the point two, we'll set the main and four tops out. Then we'll blast across here. At some point, Mikey will fly the drone. So when that happens, top sails down, Harden up, we'll head up to four. Mikey, come on. Um. <laughs> we knew flying the drone was gonna be tricky and that's why we planned everything perfectly. I mean, literally every minute will start out. Before we get back to that beautiful vessel, let's hear from our sponsor, Kamikoto. Every minute was thought out except this part of this video. Now. We've been wanting to feature Kamikoto on our channel for a while. In fact, they sent us a few knives about three months ago. We've been using them and we've been loving them. They make high-end Japanese steel cooking knives. And here we are finally doing a video for them. And they even sent us a brand new bundle with this heavy duty Ashwood box, which looks incredible. I feel like I can give this as a gift on its own. And yeah, by the way, it's also lunchtime. I'm gonna make my world famous avocado toast. So by the end of this video, you guys will see my recipe. Let's begin. First of these are some of the best knives I've ever used. They're also used by Michelin star chefs all over the world because they're made using Japanese steel and traditional techniques that have been passed down through generations of knife makers and have a single beveled edge so they stay incredibly sharp over time. When I say sharp, I really mean it. 
They come with a lifetime guarantee and each knife is individually inspected for quality. Although I'm using these knives to make avocado toast, I feel like it's not best way to showcase how sharp these knives are. So, Mikey, bring me something to slice. slice. Apple! How do you like the mouth? Baby pumpkin! Halloween is over! Melon! Get juice! Get cut. Get cut. All I can say is I'm wildly impressed with these knives and I'll be using them for a very long time. My avocado toast also looks really good. Recipe in the description, make sure to check it out. And if you wanna get yourself a set of these knives, you can go to kamikoto.com slash NS to get a $50 off your next purchase. They're running a Black Friday sale. Definitely take advantage of that. I'm gonna enjoy this avocado toast and see you guys back in Sardinia. Sailing a 140 foot yacht is really difficult and I don't think Ennis was ready for it. This yacht was just flying. The winds were so strong. I was so terrified that we were gonna lose the drone. Then I look over, I see Dal and Armand holding on to their life because the yacht is literally halfway underwater. I mean, it was pretty hectic. I think that was a very humbling moment for all of us. Luckily, we had the whole next day to try again. Perfect. So we were on that island. We got the drone shots. The problem is it's super windy. The other problem was that, let's just say, got a little too creative for my taste. I did not think this through. Oh, God. Why did I do this? Okay, so I'm up on top of the boat, and it's, I don't want to look down. I don't think Dal will ever forget that view from up there. Oh! Captain Jack Sparrow, thanks for the inspiration. Uh, Johnny Depp, we love you. Dal just went all the way up the mast, got some uh, cool shots, I hope. I'm gonna take a look at him, but we're gonna go eat. So here we've got lamb rack with lamb croquette, smoked cauliflower puree, pickled asparagus, roasted baby onion, and a mustard cream. Well, I hope we've set the bar for the uh, for the sailing uh, fraternity. Pretty sure it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty epic. So we were, we were, I was in the Bahamas. And it was good. Yeah. It tastes pretty darn good. Let's go for <laughs> it. Thank you so much. Here you go. Thanks, Shay. What have we got here? Uh, so we've got a yogurt mousse with apricot sorbet passion fruit curd, granola, dehydrated meringue. Enjoy, guys. It's it's like, it's always have, I don't want to touch it. It looks so good. <laughs> this one looks like the icebergs we saw in South Georgia. <laughs> Let's give this a go. It's actually really good. It's like marshmallow. You guys can try it as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for day one. We had so much fun today. Just watch the sunset. Look at around us. I mean, this place is magical and being on this yacht, going for sailing. I've never experienced anything like this before and we're so lucky that we can do these experiences and share it with all of you guys and I'm glad you guys are part of this journey. And that's it for day one, tomorrow's a new day. Dal, you were the top of the mast earlier. Where are you going now? Well, since I'm the one who obviously does the crazy things, I thought, Feels perfect. Is it really cold or why not? It's about 8 a.m. right now. I'm gonna go for a little dip and get my day started. It's way colder than I anticipated. Okay, today is another full day. Life is good on Shenandoah. Uh, we've got house-made sourdough with wild rocket, poached eggs, and then hollandaise with some tarragon. Enjoy. It looks nice. pretty amazing, thank you so much. <laughs> The sourdough chef made this morning is out of this world. <laughs> After breakfast, we wanted to get better drone shots and that's why I wanted to make sure that the yacht was looking perfect. Imagine every single time these guys go out, they clean the deck thoroughly everywhere. I can, I can help out a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Hey man, that was a warm welcoming, you know? I'll take it. It goes quick. The more I watch and see how a galley works, how a crew works, and how they operate these vehicles, now watch out. 
and I would have normally asked Mikey to join us as well too, but he's been working so much lately, like shooting, organizing footage. I feel bad. We wanna drop Brian in the water. Yeah. Wait! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Why me? Mission accomplished. <laughs> Am I a little sunburned? And my skin feels like a fried chicken. The first day, the yacht was going incredibly fast, and the drone couldn't keep up with it. So we decided to do something a little bit different on the second day. Hey guys, uh, so my friend Russell called me last night. Uh, he needed a bigger boat, so I turned up now with our 1600 horsepower, and uh, it's nice and windy. We're almost heading this to my gun. Let's get sketchy. All right, all right, all right. We're out in the middle of the ocean, trying to film a 140 foot yacht and not crash the drone at the same time. The sun's in my eyes and I can't see the screen and the drone keeps losing connection. Full sketch. Usually we have like a stable flat surface to land this thing on. This drone is massive. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. Woo! So somehow after Dal catches the drone, the propellers turn back on. <laughs> hold it, hold it. I got it, I got it. I don't know why, it's right now. And I swear I thought Dal was about to lose an eye. You, you were holding it and the blade was about this close to your face. But you couldn't even see it. <laughs> and now we're gonna take the little drone because I'm fine crashing that one into Dal's face. It won't do that much damage. I'm constantly pushing myself and everybody on the team to do more than they think they can. Watching the crew pull 13 knots on a ship that size was pretty impressive. Usually when people think of yachting, they think of like tanning and chefs and room service. But none of that's possible without a really good captain and a hardworking crew. This wasn't an easy shoot and I'm really proud that we were able to pull it off. Really? It was like buried underwater. Did everyone get shots? Yeah, it was like, I was like, hold the pole, otherwise you're in the water. I was like, watch yourself. It was insane. When we were healing and passing by you guys, I saw Dallas' face was like, it was just trying to like grab a gimbal. I was like, it must look. How did it look? I still get uh, goosebumps when I lift up the anchor and, and we hoist the sails on this boat. And you know, there's a, there's definitely adrenaline pumping around the crew as we're hoisting the sails and getting everything moving. And you hear the the sails flapping in the background and and things start to tighten up and the lines coming under pressure. You know, you lean over and, and the breeze comes on the beam and, and off she goes and it's, uh, you know, it, that feeling is never going to get boring. I'm really appreciative of the time that we spend on Shenandoah. Hanging out with Russell, the captain and the crew of Shenandoah have really impacted us and I feel like their impact was reflected on this final walk through the video. And if you haven't watched the tour, make sure to go to our main channel, check it out, it's one of our best videos.